All right, everyone. Hello, hello. We are back for some more Tower of God. Now, I will let you know immediately if things sound a little bit different right now. That is because I have uh, temporarily moved place for the Christmas break, so I'm at home, not at uni. Um, so my room is obviously different. So if I sound strange or unusual in any regard, um, that'll be why. And it will only be like this for about two weeks worth of content because of me pre-recording stuff so yeah just bear that in mind for this week and next week um and well just any videos that i record yeah any videos that i record within this week and next week that will sound like this um videos after that will go back to how they were before that's if there's even any real noticeable difference if there's not then ignore me. But yes, let us get into Tower of God, continue with from, from where we left off last time, episode 150. Don't know how many we'll do. I might have to do a few less than I was doing. Because it'll take me an eternity to upload if I don't. So yeah, I'll probably do like three or four. Anyway, let's -a go. A room in the hotel. Bomb versus the snakes. They came from the bathroom? It's too late. Season 3, Daughter of Snakes, 1. The battle between Dorsey and Lilial. By the way, third rate princess, I have a question for you. Don't even try to buy time! <laughs> you sneaky bitch. I know you're buying time to recover. Did you think I'd what I wouldn't notice? Eh, what the hell? I really want to ask you something. If you're curious, you can get on your knees and ask me after this fight is over. Although, I'm not sure whether I'll crush you or answer you. Ah, you're impossible to talk to. I'm genuinely curious. I want to know. How the hell one of Jihad's princesses can not like a mere Slayer candidate? I don't understand. You may be from a lowly family, but you're still a princess of Jihad. Why would you like someone like him? We were given the power to become the strongest beings in this tower. Enough chit-chat. They sound the same, but I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Think of how hard you worked and how many other people you had to beat in order to become one of Jihad's princesses. Why would you fall for a guy like that and want to ruin your life? I said shut up! Ah! It's because he gave me grilled eel and rice. What? Grilled deal and rice? What does that have to do with anything? It was really, really good. Until then, I'd only eaten raw flesh in my comp of my competitors. That was the first meal I enjoyed in my life. Food tastes better with when I'm with him. How on earth could I let bomb go of bomb? Food tastes better when you're with him. You're willing to risk your position as one of Jihad's princesses over something so silly? I have no idea what you're talking about. That's why you're still a clueless kid. What? Stop hanging around me all the time and get out in the world. You need to meet more people and find a boyfriend. I don't want to waste my time on pointless things like that. Good. He hasn't noticed at all. Beth is slowly approaching. From behind her. I, I do think she probably will notice. I'm a princess from the Lopo Bia family. I answered your question. Now let me ask you something. I always have an animal or two working for me. All right. Fine. What is it? Silly fool. She's buying me for more time. What's the connection between you and those snakes? When I, when I first saw you together, the snakes were attacking you. But you couldn't possibly control them with your pathetic abilities. I'm not exactly sure either. But the snakes are male, so maybe they're drawn. They're just drawn to my beauty. If you keep talking nonsense like that, I'll beat your face into pulp. Gee, I'm so scared. Okay, I'll answer you. The snake said they know my mother, and that she was kidnapped by the Slayer Canada or something. What? There must be some kind of big misunderstanding. But I don't, there must be some kind of big misunderstanding, but I'm not complaining. My mother can possibly know those pathetic snakes. Isn't that hilarious? Wait, could that be the woman the bomb kidnapped? The person the snake said was abducted was your mother. I think she really is here. Don't be ridiculous. Do you have any idea who my mother is? She's one of the wives of the Lopebia family's leader and daughter of Commander Ro Robodon. Bomb told me something earlier. 
He said he thinks the snakes appeared here because he kidnapped some woman and brought her to this hotel. I think her name was Laura. What? Isn't that your mother? What? What? Are you serious? But why would he do that? Where is she? I, I don't know. He said she's somewhere in one of the hotel rooms, but only Bob knows exactly where. But by the way, you're getting a little too close for comfort. Take me to the Slayer candidate. What? You know where he is, don't you? Use your bong bong and take me to him. Hold on, calm down. Let's be rational about this. Why should I help you? I forget you can, the bong bong can shoot beams and shit. My family's at stake. Are we supposed to help each other when family is concerned even in battle? I hate to break it to you, but I never had a mom or a dad, so I can't relate! Don't attack her. I need a bong bong. I sent the snakes after the Slayer candidate. What? I sent them to look for Juvial Grace. If you don't go and stop them right now, he'll be in danger. Will you help me? What the hell is wrong with you? That's the name of the woman you're looking for, right? Laura. I know which room she's in. You better let me go if you want me to help me. You want me to tell you. Erase all tracks leading to a room using Shinsu. If you kill me, now it'll be hard. It'll be even harder to find her. Hmm? Laura, tell me where she is. Or I'll kill you! Okay, I'll tell you. But on one condition. I'd like to promise something to you. Let's propose something to you. You want to... Propose something? That's right. I'll tell you where she is. But not until this light ball turns off. Why should I wait? Because you need to survive until the light ball turns and on in order to win the game. I won't tell you where she is unless you leave us alone until then. But I can't trust you. Neither can I. So I'll add one more condition. What is it? I need to know why you're looking for that woman. If you're looking for her for the wrong reasons, I'll never tell you where she is. And if I refuse... Then she could be in danger. So I'll have to force you to tell me. I see. You've chosen death. Before I kill you. I'm going to find out where Laura is. Physical attacks don't seem to work effectively against the snakes. The, snakes, the, snake go, the same goes for Shinto attacks that use sword pressure. It's like he's become one with the Shinsu. He bounces off attacks like a snake swing in water. Even reverse flow control wears off too soon to use against them. In that case... Oh. What if I fill this room with so much- with as much Shinsu as possible? To increase the Shinsu density. That should slow the snakes down- slow down even the snakes. Since they're effect affected by the Shinsu flow. This would be even harder outside. But it's definitely possible in a relatively enclosed space like this. You little... Very, very clever, bum. Very, very clever. Once I need to drink some water. <sighs> Delicious. Then, once I slow the snakes down... I'll smash them with physical... With a physical attack! Oh, really? It didn't load one of the images? That seems like... That's just unfair. But yeah, like I was saying, I'm probably not going to do as long videos, because it'll take me an eternity to upload otherwise. As you'll be seeing, my Wi-Fi is not particularly great here, based on, well, how long it took to reload that page. Um, but yeah. <laughs> it worked. This kid is no ordinary regular. Hmm? He bunched up the snakes to use them as, as a weapon. His 
easy giving up on trying to counter my unpredictable moves and speed. And decided to focus on boosting his attack power. <laughs> the snakes are coming loose again? <laughs> They're too close to a void. Uh, I know what to do. Bob's pulling out fucking everything. Red th Thrissa, Blue Thrissa, Level 3 Transformation. Bro, that look the Red Thrissa looks so sick. I haven't tried this level of transformation before. It's pretty unstable. So, I'm not sure how long it'll last. But, I don't have any other choice. That looks dangerous. I can't let you do that. Now! Blue Thrissa! Shinsu Barrier! Ah! Ah! This is my chance. But I'll try to his left side since that's where I wounded him. I mean, it, I don't think any of him solid, so standing on him sounds like a bad idea. He's just made of snakes. Now, tell me. Why did the family leader make me kidnap that woman named Laura? Who is she? Why are you looking for her? And why should I tell you where she is? I want to know the truth. I'll tell you where she is after I hear what you have to say. A few minutes earlier, the whole where Balm and Ren fought. Oh my god. What happened here? Is he dead? Who is that? I've never seen him before. The only people who should be here are Bomb and that ball of rice. Is that Ren? Wait, you mean the Slayer Cannon defeated a Ranker? That's impossible. Let's see if he's alive first and ask him. Princess! <laughs> Ah! Don't step on me! What? what the hell is that? P princess it's nice to meet you! My name is Ren! I'm one of the Lopa Beer family's rankers! What? You're Ren? I heard about you from Princess and Dorsey. Why do you look like this? I know it's hard to believe, but the Slayer Candidate Eat me, but my body hasn't recovered, so I'm stuck in this form for the time being. What? The Slayer Candidate beat him? Can't believe this. That guy defeated a rancor from the Jihad family's royal guards? Yeah. Yeah, he did. Bomb's kind of a tough cookie nowadays, huh? He's grown. Quite, quite a bit. Even from the name hunt station where you were last aware of him, uh, Lilil. Where you last met him, actually. Kind of crazy, that. How much Balm has grown. The feats that he is achieving. <sighs> Feels weird for me to recall this early in the morning. Yeah, I saw that last time. Scroll past. Ah, here we are. Oh, so you're that rice ball jerk, huh? How about I crush you and shut you up once and for all? <laughs> Holy shit! Wait, wait, stop! What was that? <laughs> Hold on, you seem to be looking for the Slayer candidate. I I'll help you find him. I, d I know I don't look like it right now, but I'm still a ranker. I'm a scout and an anima. My tracking skills are better than anyone. I can find him in no time. How can I trust you? D don't worry about that, I've changed my mind. To be quite honest, I'm quite astounded by the Slayer Candidate's abilities. The family leader was right. It hurts my pride to admit it. But he would be a valuable asset in the upcoming war. I fully support his marriage to Princess Lilial. I can't believe he said that. Let's just kill him. Yeah, go ahead. Ah, no! And hurry up and find Bam. Season 3, Daughter of Snakes, 2. The room with Bam and the Serpent Master. If you really want to know, 
I'll tell you. Have you heard of snake strands? Snake strands? What do you mean? Do you mean what I think you do? I see. So you have heard of them. They're snakes that live forever by molting and dividing themselves every year. After dividing themselves up over the course of tens of thousands of years. Mm. Ugh. Apologies. They become a snake mass. And those who eat long-lived snake strands obtain their power. Most people who try to devour us end up dying from the snake's poison. But certain chosen ones can become stronger simply by eating a few snakes. That is why everyone hunts us down despite the risks. And so we were forced to hide in the dark. I was born in a dark mud field unbeknownst to anyone. I have lived for tens of thousands of years, making me especially valuable. The family leader discovered me and placed me in a massive container. I spent an amount of time in that con an unfathomable amount of time in that container, all alone, multiplying and dividing. Then one day, Lilio's mother. Laura came to me. She was crying. She asked me for a favor. She wanted to make a child make the child within her stronger. Does he mean you mean Princess Lilial? That's right, Lilial Jahan. Laura told me the child in her womb does not become one of, if the child if the child in her womb does not become one of Jihad's princesses she and her family would be in danger i looked at her up close i had never seen a human woman in my life she felt so warm unlike me the moment i saw laura I felt something that I never should have. I wanted to help her. But a child was still mo no more than, un than an unstable cell. I wasn't sure how much... How to make this child stronger. But then, I thought of a way. And I told her my idea. This is what I told her. Within the next ten days... If you feel even for a moment that you could love me, and come back, and Laura, return to me. Was it love? Or did she simply have no other choice? Whatever it was, I couldn't say for sure. But I made up my mind. I decided to protect Laura and the child in her womb forever. Because Lilial is my daughter. So, that's what happened. But, I don't understand. I thought she had an older twin sister. Does the, sa does the snake know about her? Earlier. Are you sure it's this way? Don't worry. I clearly remember the snake under its scent. Be but be careful. I detected traces of battle in that room. Laura came to me. I hear a voice inside. She was crying. Yeah, yeah. Do you mean what I think you do? Yep. What? Several years after that, I received news that Lilial was born. And then, a few years later, Laura came to see me again. She told me Lilial was born normally. It was difficult to believe, but Lilial must have been resistant to my poison. So I tore off parts of myself with the power I wanted to give to Lilial and sent them to Laura every single day. Then, 
Laura stopped coming soon after that. And I heard that Lilial. <sighs> Sorry. Was chosen as one of Jihad's princesses. Why did you sacrifice yourself like that? I told you. Lilial is my daughter. Hey, when are you going inside? Very interesting. How she can be the daughter of, well, you know, a mass of snakes. Like, you know? I would do anything for my daughter, Lilial. That's a lie. Stop lying, you sneaky snake! Lilial. Lilial! My mother would never do such a thing with a freak like you. I inherited the family leader's bloodline. It's already strong enough without needing any power from the likes of you. He's lying because he wants to see my mother. That's why he's spewing those delusional lies. Cut his throat right now. Lilial. Hurry up and kill him. I'll marry you or do whatever you want if you just kill him for me. Kill those goddamn snakes! Right now! Hey, Lilial. Ah! No! Stop! He's too fast. I can't stop all those snakes. Lilial, go after him. Tell him to stop. He's looking for your mother. Why should I? He's just a delusional divine sea animal. Why should I go after him and tell him to stop? I'm so sick of all this. From this whole ridiculous marriage to those damn snakes. I can't stand it anymore. I just want to give up on everything. Message. Who could it be? You're giving up. Oh, it'll be Lilial. You're giving up? Then can I have everything? That number. It's somewhere in the hotel. Lilial? Hey! Could it be? No, it's impossible. Why did my sister be here? Oh, the snake's looking for Shilial then. Hello. This is our first time meeting like this. My name's Shilial Jihad. I'm one of Jihad's princesses from the Lopobia family, as well as Lilial's twin sister. I am also one of the daughters, born to you and Lopobia Laura. Well, Lilial's had a glow up as well. Fuck me. She's gorgeous. Daughter. You're the daughter of Laura and I. But my daughter is Lilial. Oh, I guess my mother didn't tell you. We're twins. What? Unlike Lilial, I was born with enough strength that I didn't need your help. So I suppose that makes me... A bit more like your daughter, wouldn't you agree? As irritating as that may be... Chilial! Lilial. What are you doing here? What about your teammates? And how do you know about those snakes? That's an interesting look she's got on her face. You're so weak, Lilial. How could you fail to seize an opportunity like this? I told you. I envy you. I may be a bit older than you, but you were always our mother's favorite. What the heck are you talking about? Talking about? Lilial! Slayer candidate? Oh, it's you. You're the person we're supposed to marry, huh? I suppose I should introduce myself. Nice to meet you. Shilial? My name is Shilial Jihad. I'm Lilial's older twin sister, and one of your potential marriage partners selected by the family leader. The family leader appears to have wanted to test whether Lilial or I would be a more suitable partner. That must be why he brought those snakes here. What on earth? I think I know. What do you have to find out? He wanted to see which of us would take advantage of our position as our mother's daughter. To command those snakes, even after finding out the whole truth. Maybe he thinks that, without that kind of determination... We wouldn't be willing to give up our title as Jihad's princess. 
for the sake of a political marriage. If I don't respect the family leader's decision, my mother, myself, and my whole family will be in danger. So even though I don't like this whole idea, let's agree to get married for now. What do you say? You could do a lot worse for a wife than me. Silly old. I don't think a Dorsey will be fine with this. I refuse. What? Are you impotent or something? You don't want me? No. No. I love that she's also in shock. <laughs> I love them both just like, you fucking what? Oh, uh, Christ. Right, yeah. We'll probably do uh, one more. Push it over 30 minutes and that'll be the last one for today. Good thing if I go too close to an hour, it's going to take me way too long to get these videos uploaded. So, yeah. That's what we'll do. I mean, I'd, I mean, either or, you know, Lilial, Shilial, sounds like a great, um, like, either or, you know, sounds like a great, so, sounds great to me, but hey, anyway, season three, showdown, one, a hole in the hotel. Hey, who are you people? Uh, how do you know Princess Yuri? I have nothing to do with the princess. I came from Fog to help Viol. We're Balm's companions. We seem to be on the same side as you, at least. I can't trust you until the Slayer can confirms that himself. Oh, come on. What are you going to do when you find Balm anyway? I was given orders either to help him with this tournament or to assist him in escaping from here in the worst case scenario. Escape? What do you mean? You, me you mean you know how to get out of this battleship? I can't tell you any more than that. Look at that. Look at that. The doors are smashed. Let's see where that this leads. Did you just refuse me? You seem to be seriously mistaken. I'm not suggesting we get married because I like you. This is purely... He said he's not interested. Just give up already. Isn't it, is it normal for people in your family to marry people that you don't even like? No. I won't allow you to marry him, Shilial. No way. It may be an order from the family leader. Lilio. But there's no need for either of us to marry that man. Then what do you suggest we do? Do you want our whole family to be wiped out for disobeying the family leader? No. I'm saying we should kill him now. He's the cause of all this trouble. Why did you appear in the tower in the first place, you demon? None of this would have happened if you weren't if it weren't for you, you monster. Hey, watch your mouth. Oh, yo. Whoa. What an epic slap. Is our pride really worth risking the safety of our whole family? Stop acting so immature, Lilial. The person standing before uh, you was selected as an heir to the by the family leader. We're in no position to refuse him simply because we feel like it. But, hey, I don't want to be the family's heir. Mr. Slayer Candidate. There you are. Thank goodness you're safe. Bob. A voice. Coon? You. Rock. Coon. Rock. You're safe. How in the world did you end up on the previous battleship? What happened? In the air around the battleship. Jam Jam versus Mart. I need to find a command mayor. That didn't hurt at all. Mm. That didn't hurt him at all, Mosquito. Strange. I'm the intruder here. And yet you look much more desperate than me. Is it just my imagination? He's right. Why hasn't any backup arrived yet? Something must be wrong on the battleship. Yeah, it's because, um... Tiara murdered all of them. But I can't ask the family leader directly for help. Kirin is the only person on the battleship allowed to contact the family leader. You seem to be in a hurry as well. So, I'll go ahead and attack first this time. I was hoping to keep holding out, but that dragonfly's attacks are more powerful than I thought. 
That was close. I was starting to run out of power to use the reinforcement. Now that the dragonfly is getting anxious to end the fight, this is my chance to fight him head on. I received this spear from the family leader, so I don't use it very often. What? What? Damn it! So you do use that spear after all? You lied to me, mosquito. Spear of doom, ignite! Fire electric bombs. Yeah, I, I, I don't think you're hitting him again, Jam Jam. Mosquito. Ah, uh, poor Jam Jam. I liked him as well. Whoops. I'll have to apologize to the hotel guests for that. There are going to be lots of mosquitoes this summer. Yuri versus Tiara. If you don't believe in the power of writing, then you can experience it for yourself. I can't believe it. This is real. That four-eyed jerk is telling the truth. Whatever she writes really does come true. How is this possible? There's got to be limits on that. Because that kind of power is absolutely ridiculous. Regardless of a person's Shinsu skills, everyone can only use a f can use only a fixed amount of Shinsu. People aren't allowed to exceed that amount. It's against the rules. Yeah, yeah now she's made of Shinsu. I think it's time to bring an end to this to bring this story to an end. Oh, what the fuck? For a second, I don't know what the hell happened there. I can already picture it. I can see the moment when a beautiful red flower will bloom from within your body. This isn't good. She doesn't seem to have any weakness. Did she make anything happen simply by writing it in that book? It seems absurd. I just witnessed it for myself, so it must be true. How's a double ignition sound again, Yuri? You've not done something like that for a while, you know? I know things didn't quite go to plan when you double ignited last time. And you know, you did need bomb to f set you out of it. But I'm sure it'll be fine! When she writes skills in that book, they have the same power as usual. But they're noticed to be lacking in speed and accuracy. She seems to make up for that. Up with that. For this, with the sheer number of attacks. But one thing is certain, she really can recreate whatever Shinsu she writes in that book. Wait, that book? I have to get rid of that book somehow. In times like this, there's really only one thing to do. Despite the danger. Oh. Oh. I'm going in for another attack. Yeah, Yuri. You do what you're good at and just break shit. Yeah, th th those are some sick panels, I can't lie. Charging blindly? Really? Is that the best idea you could come up with? Right. We shall leave it on that note with this lovely panel of Yuri diving in at Tiara. And with that said, I've been Animosity, you've been you, and I hope you'll um, put up with short videos for the, uh, you know, the next couple of weeks. Uh, ta -ta. Oh, and also, you know, I hope to catch you all next time for another video. I, I can't end a video without that. <laughs> ta, ta for now, anyway. Oh, also, since I didn't say it, uh, there's a quick addendum. Since this is going up on um, the 25th of December, Merry Christmas, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day, and uh, yeah, and a new year to come as well. So once again, that's half an hour, everyone.